Our cosmic neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy, is the nearest spiral galaxy to the Milky Way and is expected to collide with our galaxy. It is expected that this event won't happen for another 4 billion years. However, a shocking signal has been sent back to Earth by the James Webb Space Telescope, showing that the collision will occur far sooner than expected. Furthermore, after a century of assumptions, the data from the James Webb Space Telescope has changed our knowledge of the Andromeda Galaxy by revealing startling and unexpected details about its true nature. This discovery has sparked a flurry of excitement and speculation within the scientific community. Is this an answer to our attempts at interstellar communication, or does it indicate a celestial occurrence that is still unknown? And what happens when Andromeda strikes Earth in the Milky Way galaxy? Join us today as we explore the reason for the alarming signal received by the James Webb Telescope from the Andromeda galaxy. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, belongs to the local group of galaxies and is a barred spiral galaxy. To find this galaxy, you would need to look up at the night sky in the direction of the star constellation Sagittarius. Its galactic center is very faintly visible there. All stars, nevertheless, are actually part of the Milky Way and are visible to the naked eye from Earth. The rotational speed of the Milky Way is comparatively faster than that of many other galaxies. Although there are billions of galaxies in the universe, this one has taken an astronomically long time to uncover and understand due to the restricted scientific instruments available at the time. Astronomers initially knew very little about the Milky Way. The first recorded observations of the Milky Way date back to ancient civilizations. The Greeks named it Galaxius Kos, meaning Milky Circle, due to its milky appearance in the night sky. However, it was not until the invention of the telescope that we began to understand its true nature. With the invention of the telescope in the early 17th century, Astronomers like Galileo Galilei were able to observe that the Milky Way was composed of a vast number of stars. This was a significant step towards understanding the structure of our galaxy. In the early 20th century, the nature of the spiral nebulae was the subject of the great debate between Harlow Shapley and Heber Curtis. Shapley argued that the Milky Way was the entire universe, while Curtis believed that the universe consisted of numerous galaxies like the Milky Way. The debate was resolved by Edwin Hubble in the 1920s when he identified Cepheid variable stars in the Andromeda galaxy, which allowed him to prove that it was indeed an independent galaxy outside the Milky Way. Edwin Hubble's work on the Andromeda galaxy also led to one of the most important discoveries in modern astronomy, which is the expansion of the universe. By observing the red shift of the light from the Andromeda galaxy, Hubble was able to show that the universe is expanding, with galaxies moving away from each other. This discovery formed the basis of the Big Bang Theory. However, Hubble was not the first astronomer to notice this galaxy. Since ancient times, humans have been aware of the Andromeda galaxy. Actually, the Persian astronomer Abd al-Rahman al-Sufi called Andromeda the, the little cloud in his Book of Fixed Stars, in 964 AD. This was the first astronomer to see Andromeda with the naked eye before the invention of telescopes but it wasn't until much later that its full nature as a galaxy was understood. Astronomers sometimes call the Andromeda galaxy by the name Messier 31 or M31. Astronomers believed Andromeda to be substantially larger than our own Milky Way galaxy for a very long time. From an objective perspective, such an error might easily occur since we live in our own galaxy, and since Andromeda is so large when viewed from Earth that it is easy to believe that nothing could possibly be as big as it. However, that is incorrect. Recent research has brought about a re-evaluation of these beliefs. Based on all available data, astronomers estimate that Andromeda is roughly 10 billion years old, which puts it in the very early universe. Its age suggests that its development and evolution had a long and complex history. Our Milky Way galaxy is 100,000 light-years in diameter, but Andromeda galaxy is 220,000 light-years in diameter almost twice the size of our galaxy. Compared to the Milky Way's 250 to 400 billion stars, it has around a trillion stars. Although it appears peaceful to the naked eye, astronomers have discovered a violent history and future within it. The active galactic nucleus of the Andromeda galaxy is one of its most interesting features. The highly active region at a galaxy center is called the active galactic nucleus, or AGN, for short. 
It can be identified by strong emissions at a range of wavelengths, including X-rays and radio waves. The supermassive black hole located at the center of the galaxy provides the energy source for AGNs. These supermassive black holes are extremely dense areas in space with a large mass packed into a little volume. This black hole weighs roughly 110 to 230 million times as much as our Sun, according to estimates of its mass, which range from 1.1 to 2.3 asterisk 10 to the power of 8 solar masses. It is thought that supermassive black holes, like the one in our Milky Way, are frequently found in the centers of galaxies. They, therefore, have a major effect on the dynamics and evolution of galaxies. An accretion disk is created around a supermassive black hole when matter, such as gas and stars, approaches it too closely. The AGN is extremely bright because this disk of whirling material heats up and releases powerful radiation at different wavelengths. Astronomers see a stronger point of concentration close to the center supermassive black hole in the Andromeda galaxy's active galactic nucleus. The unique gravitational interactions between the black hole and the nearby stars are responsible for this phenomenon. The supermassive black hole at the center of the Andromeda galaxy pulls nearby stars with an incredibly strong gravitational field. These stars' eccentric orbits around the black hole are comparable to planets in our solar system orbiting their suns. The star's closest approach to the black hole occurs at a specific elliptical orbital point known as the perihelion. At the perihelion, the gravitational forces are at their strongest. A fascinating theory regarding Andromeda's formation is based on the notion that it formed through a merger of multiple smaller proto-galaxies. This implies that smaller galaxies progressively merged due to gravity over billions of years to become the amazing Andromeda galaxy that we see today. These kinds of galaxy mergers are frequent occurrences in the universe, affecting the development and composition of galaxies. But it all happens so slowly that you can't actually see it happen until major progress has been made. In addition to its other intriguing characteristics, recent observations and analysis by the James Webb Telescope have sparked speculation among astronomers that the Andromeda galaxy might be undergoing a fascinating transformation. The signal indicates a possible transformation of the Andromeda galaxy from a regular spiral galaxy to a ring galaxy, with unique structures. There is very little luminous matter in the central region, and the rings are made up of blue and bright newborn stars. Ring galaxies stand out among the wide variety of galaxy structures due to these distinctive characteristics. The James Webb Telescope has also found that the Andromeda galaxy's history is similar to the Milky Way's. Both galaxies have a single immigration event that dominates the inner halos. According to scientists, the Andromeda galaxy and the Milky Way galaxy are headed toward a collision and will eventually merge to form a new supergalaxy. At present, the Andromeda galaxy is traveling at a speed of roughly 200 meters per second toward our Milky Way. Considering this, our merger will take place in the next 4.5 billion years. However, James Webb's evidence now suggests that this interstellar collision could occur far sooner than previously believed. But why is this happening at all? The only reason the Milky Way and Andromeda will merge is because they became gravitationally bound to one another before dark energy took over. Since it is now widely accepted, this enormous event has gotten nicknames like Milkamida or Milkdromeda. Despite the cool nicknames, the effects of this merger would be disastrous for human civilization. The two galaxies' strong gravitational pull will cause them to distort each other's shapes as they get closer to one another. Since the stars are positioned far enough away in both galaxies, it is extremely unlikely that any of them will collide on their own. Proxima Centauri, for example, is the closest known star to the Sun and is located approximately 4.2 light-years away. Although stars are more common near the centers of each galaxy, the average distance between stars is still 100 billion miles. It is extremely unlikely that any two stars from the merging galaxy will collide, but some stars might be ejected. Both Andromeda and the Milky Way have a center supermassive black hole. Over a period of millions of years, these black holes will eventually spiral into one another and merge close to the core of the newly created galaxy. Supermassive black holes will start to strongly produce gravitational waves when they are within one light year of one another. These waves will continue to radiate orbital energy until the black holes merge fully. The gas that the merging black holes absorb could form an active galactic nucleus. 
there would be an incredible amount of energy released if this occurred. At this point, you might be thinking, what is the future of our solar system? According to current calculations, there is a 50% possibility that the solar system will be swept out three times further from the galactic core in a merged galaxy than it is now. The Sun is located in a branch of our galaxy known as the Orion Spur. Our galaxy is divided into spiral arms. Our solar system would be right at this arm's fingertips if we were sent farther out. Additionally, scientists estimate that there is a 12% probability that the solar system may be completely expelled from the newly created galaxy at some point during the collision. What about life on Earth, then? Will life on Earth continue after the merger? Well, in roughly 7.5 billion years, the Sun will grow larger and swallow the Earth, turning it into a red giant. However, the Sun's intrinsic brightness, or luminosity, will rise even before then. This will happen ultimately in a timeline of about 4 billion years. As solar radiation reaching the Earth increases, Earth's surface temperature will increase. We might experience a runaway greenhouse effect, much like what's happening right now on Venus, the planet next door. Thus, there's a good chance that life on Earth won't exist after the merger. However, perhaps by then, some people on Earth will have developed space travel abilities. It's possible that we will have abandoned Earth and our solar system. The view of Andromeda colliding with the Milky Way might still be available to us, although from a slightly different angle. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting space-related content. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.